Hello everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Finding Paradise. Sorry for the technical difficulties in the last episode, let's get right into this one and hope it goes as planned. You've wanted a visit for a long time now, haven't you? It's everything you dreamed it would be? Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. How about you though? Hmm. You know, spending half of our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. Hey, now's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I got quite a few gigs waiting when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it. I might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not gonna be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. So we're ready, huh? Yeah, as ready as we're gonna be. You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. Huh. We'll make the little bastard pay for all the vacation we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Here's to the rest of it. Yeah, here's... Oh no. Oh damn. Smooth fella. Okay. Small uninhabited aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. Colin, the water's not that cold. <laughs> Fia, you still awake? Lemon juice is the way to go. Hmm. A faded painting of Bora Bora. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. So probably the hibiscus is reminding him of this memory. A blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Yay, backtracking. At least it's a beach. <laughs> hey. Your shift just about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you even get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky, I like it. Did you get yours done? Hehe, <laughs> good one. That's dangerous. She should really get down from there. Psst, that no kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah. But at least he gets work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but the plane's short because someone snagged a blow tire. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he's gonna fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know. Shh. I don't care. I got everything prepared and ready, sir. I've done every weight, I've done every weight and balance calculation, pre-flight checkup, and document check. Cool, but the wind's picking up, so your solo cross-country flight's canceled. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> That's definitely not what the teacher was writing on the board. <laughs> mm. 
every single time. Here, let me get that for you. Just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Wow, that's some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for ages. I've been here for years and I could never figure that thing out. You must have like some kind of magical lending power. Um, I only... Caught, uh, I only know because I have to clean it, so... <laughs> okay, here's $24 in change. Wow, that's uh, a lot of pennies. It's okay, have all day. Wow, that's uh, a lot of pennies. Oh, that lady, terrible. Why are you like that lady? Hurry up and count the pennies, kid. You're holding up the line. <laughs> well, these people suck. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has a reason to start flying. Mm, and what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instruction, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here, I was an acrobatic sky riding pilot. Wow, like making stuff appear in the sky without plane trails? With plane trails. Yep, I was not good too. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell you. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No. But just because I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Uh, it riles me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you give me my soda, then you vow to give my life meaning again? I see that I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of you. That went well. Oh, look at her, she's always sleeping. <laughs> she sure makes herself at home. Hmm, we might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing, and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Uh, maybe we could simulate this memory somehow. Hopefully, let's keep our eyes open. Whoa, some, what was that? Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of breeze. Oh, that's our memory. This wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's going on? What? What the heck is this? I don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what? We need a way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less? I'm not sure what's going on in this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hey, no! I can't even look down. It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, jumping in three, two... Whoa! Quit pushing me off ledges, Ava! What? I didn't push you. The heck you didn't. Oh, we fell on a plane. Whoa. Hey, you hanging out all right? What is even going on? Wait. Tone your ham down. What is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? I think so. Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mix your full rich, uh, prime in and locked. Zero Yankee Romeo, clear to land runway in 211. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high. Get some flaps in there. Speed, lower the nose. Alright, I have control. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hold on. Looks like we're gonna land.
<laughs> what? Hey, you all good? No, Ava, I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. <laughs> that would have been the best ending for the game. Get the hell up! All right. And the violins. <laughs> Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Ah, you remind me of me back when I was a young lad. As in, back in, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic sky riding flights I've done, I tell you. One day I'm gonna get back to that. Oh, wait, come on. Here it is. Okay, let's go. Bam. Another headshot, Ava. No scope. Booyah! Give him the concussion. <laughs> You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. Activate, let's go. Seriously, only one single orb for the memory of this proposal? Yeah. Hey, at least you remembered it. <laughs> Barry. That was funny. Man, how are you able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. She's sure getting lots of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like he's... It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Oh, never mind. You know, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I, um, were... Well... You being there would help. I guess, but... I can't always hang around, you know? Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging around. Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead? And you can tell me all about it after rehearsal. Okay, then it's decided. Bye! <laughs> you'll be fine. Wow, what a wacky gal. Hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop, chop. A couple of blank pages. Hmm, okay. So that's some memento. Let's, we'll have to come back to this. Is this the right place? Yep. Uh, I can't believe I'm late. Was that Sophia? I guess so. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. For somewhere on my right side. Uh-oh. By someone in the cello section. Uh-oh. Someone sitting in the second row. Towards the front. <gasps> Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. <laughs> they made it much more dramatic than it should have been. All right, let's pick back from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready? Well, at least things worked out. Things kinda worked out, you mean? Or we wouldn't be here. For an amateur cellist, he sure had balls to ask the concert pianist. It's not the military, Neil. Activate. Okay guys, so that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.